are watching me. There you are. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. I can understand that. There's reprieve in solitude. But it's concerning that something could intervene like that. Especially when we are so close to the Elder Brain. Do you have any idea what it was? Raphael? Well, thank you for your honesty. Of course, I should have known the devil would come sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? How interesting. No doubt he impressed upon you the need to do so. And what did he want in return for this knowledge? Giving a devil what he wants sounds like a brilliant idea. Tell me, you turned him down. I see. You feel the touch of the Emperor's mind peeling at the edge of yours, trying to gain access. That is... a fair request. You feel its presence withdrawing from the fringes of your awareness. I shall respect your privacy on this occasion. But know that if you have jeopardized our mutual project, I will be forced to reconsider our alliance. Now come, we have an Elder Brain to destroy. Raphael a visit. I want to hear all about it. Come here. I'm not going to start an argument. I just want to know why you turned the boss down. Cheeky. We might be in a brothel, but I'm not that kind of gal. You should reconsider, though. The boss might be a devil. But he'll treat you more honestly than anyone else in the city. Plenty. But right now, I have one job. You. I'm talking to you openly. Mortal to mortal. And I'm begging you to sign the contract. If the brain wins, the Illithid Empire returns and worlds you've never even dreamed of will die. Raphael can stop it. He wants to. And he knows how. You're the key. You always have been. He's a devil. It's his nature. He needs to get his due. I won't pretend he's an altruist. But he's looked at the balance sheet. No world, no souls. And it's hard to get leverage on an illithid. They make terrible clients. I doubt it. But even if you do, you won't survive the fight. I'd reconsider if I were you. You have the key to my own. For you. Don't take it off later. I want to give it a good rumple. Oh. 
Seems like a good moment to talk. Come to pay your respects to the real lady of the house, I see. What a clever creature you are. It's your lucky day. I am receiving compliments at this time, and you are most welcome to make an offering. Oh, you are quite correct. I consider them one of my finest features. The unwashed rabble who frequent this establishment have much to learn from your deference. And I must suffer their foibles alone. But they do say a burden shared is a burden halved. The Drow, two of our most popular courtesans. A night with them seems to be rather life-changing, if you can afford it. Of course, they are siblings, but judging from the throngs of clients they draw, most of the city is as disgusting as they are. That's rather a broad topic. We get all sorts here. But there is one frequent visitor whose very presence offends me. He dresses fabulously, but stinks of the hells. Something infernal, to be sure. Abhorrent. Can't you hear from here? They're talking about the new top cat in the criminal underbelly. Go and listen for yourself. As for them personally, one never washes and instead douses himself with rose oil, while the other can't hold his drink. What could you possibly want with me now? <laughs> Sorry, love, I'm rather preoccupied. Lazelle of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Tell me you took the devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. I did not come this far for you to turn your back on the first mother's son. Gith cards have Kim crashed. You put your trust in me, Voss. I plan to honor it. Yes, and it seems I have no choice but to trust. There is but one prism, and you are its key. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geich. Iztik, I will wait in the underground. Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason, I promise you. A devil of Raphael's stature does not simply make camp on the shores of the Styx. He will have made a sanctuary for himself, a lavish one too, one that caters to his many vices. The House of Hope. We must find a way in. 
The House of Hope, you say? I couldn't ask for a name more fitting. Every house has an entrance, Istik. Even those in the Hells. You must find it. You are wasting your time and mine. Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind there. If you seek rapture, find it elsewhere. I can show you but once. Mrs. and I have been dreaming about the city. No more sleeping rough. Didn't expect to find it locked down tighter than a watcher's fist. Greetings. Bloody gnomes. We need to find where they burrowed themselves up. You! You an adventurer? Looking to pad your purse? Find their foxhole. Bring me their chief's head. The fist will reward you well. I agree. But we can't leave our posts. Not with all the patriarchs meeting in Worms Rock for the coronation. You've the right look. Solid bones. Steady face. The kind that cleans up vermin for pay. You'll change your mind once they kill innocent citizens. The only language they'll understand is that of intimidating violence. <laughs> then you're no friend of the fist. No matter, I'll find someone else. Most folks around here will do almost anything. You pay them enough. Oh, 
If you're here to shop, just buy what's needed, all right? Some people are panic buying. Let's not add to the problem. Why is everyone acting so normal? The Absolute armies are coming. We need to stock up. Well, we should... Fruit? Vegetables? What can I do you for? If you're hungry, you know where to find me. You told me the armor wasn't falling. It was! But good armor is hard to find. Dantalon's dancing dance. 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 The harpers say past your hero mentioned. How else was I supposed to see them? You have got to check out Dantalon's dancing axe. Their leather work is amazing. Need something? I've got the tools for any job. Any job. Whatever you're working on. Which makes him the this armor was such a bargain. A hero is nothing without the right equipment. See Danthelon's dancing axe for all your adventuring Welcome needs. Welcome to Danthelon's dance. Don't draw any trouble on old Enthal. He acts like he's up for it, but he's retired for a reason. You break it, you... Well, knowing Enthal, it was already broken. I'll oh, give it a shot. With your folks. Greetings, sir. Your noble bearing brings a little class to my humble establishment. How may I be of service? Harpers! I am afraid I serve a grubbier class of clientele than that. More chancers than champions, if you take my meaning. Present company excluded, I'm sure. No, I don't know any, uh, Jahira, was it? I knew it. I knew she wasn't dead. Fine, yes. You have the right place. But where's the leaf flicker herself? She wouldn't have revealed this place otherwise, which makes you one of the rare breed she does trust. Here's the key. The others are below, and bearing bad news by the looks of it. Always. Short father, bless you. Right, Sonny. You're on the door till our friends are done. God forbid we do any business today.
I'm listening. Voss has done his duty. Now, we will do ours. We must find our way to the House of Hope and take the Orphic Hammer. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will use the hammer to break Orpheus free. Chuck. As you... So Bal's Chosen is a doppelganger. I should not be surprised. They have ever been among his favorite servants. Orin is testing you. Either she thinks herself a predator, playing with her food. Or she fears what you might do. Good. Exactly. Hmm. The last time I fought doppelgangers, the Balspawn Saravok was using them to subvert the city government. Aid his rise to power. But Orin... He's more predator than politician, I think. She simply wants to make us feel hunted, isolated. Tell the Lordling that Orin is watching. Seems that Gortash and Orin have had a little falling out. We should leverage that. As you wish. the fire things. Welcome, sir. Hi, Harper. May Saluna's tears shine on this meeting. Hey. Very formal greeting, Geraldus. You are well? Yes, High Harper. Uh, standing beneath Saluna's tears. The lad's a little nervous, Jahira. We heard of your great victory against Ketherick. Geraldus isn't nervous. He's terrified. And he's using Saluna's tears as some kind of code. I understand, Geraldus. Take a moment. And you, Harper. Mm. There is something familiar about you. Doesn't she remind you of our old friend Marcus? Jahira's meaning is clear. Marcus was a traitor laying a trap. The same, it seems, is happening here. The problem with Marcus, of course... We didn't end on the best of terms. I'm going to enjoy this. your command.
Let's go. Blood comes easy these days. She brought to Baal's side, I wonder. Mahler's mark. How many more Harpers dead? Huh. I'll take that. On my way. Something good here, I hope. Dinner with my Did I... Uh, did I get it right? Shalunis tears. It is said no false face can stand beneath their light. An old code harper. But yes, you got it right. Now I need your report. We had eyes on suspected cultists in the city. Like you asked. We thought we were tracking them, but... They were tracking you instead. Evidently. Doppelgangers. And they're not just working with the cult, our High Harper. They're part of it. Baalists, I think. Sworn to Orin the Red, yes. We've already had the pleasure. Go on. Everything seemed fine until your latest orders. Until we started to search for the Rashimar. They struck the same night. I woke to one of them strangling Chelvin. While smiling at me out of her face, she said, It said that I'd report back to you as normal. Lou, are you here? And I had no choice. I'm sure it felt that way, Geraldus. The others were likely dragged back to Orin, tortured, sacrificed. I do not expect you to die for me. But to risk Antharl? Any citizen who might have wandered in? There is always a choice. And the Harper must be able to make the hard ones. Perhaps this isn't the life for you after all, Geraldus. No, Jahira! Hi, Harper! Please! I'm still a Harper. I want to help! You've scarcely signed up, boy. And there is a war coming. Why die a Harper, when you could still live as anything else? I want to fight! 
for Chelvin, for all of them. So it means something. Death is death. To look for meaning in it is foolishness, boy. Childish storybook nonsense. <laughs> exactly the kind the Harper would spout, I suppose. Fine. I have no right to make the choice for you. Not when this mess is of my making. I sent the Harpers hunting after the cult, without thinking what it would mean to be hunted in turn. Now they are compromised. And if not for you, I wouldn't even know it. I'm sorry, Geraldus. Harper. And I owe you an apology as well. I haven't told you everything I hope to learn here today. First, Geraldus. You're the last Harper in the city I can rely on. Lay low and rest while you can. I have matters to discuss with my friend here. <laughs> Orin knows the hunt. In one stroke, she places the Harpers beyond our reach, separates us from our pack. Until we know who the False Facers are, we cannot trust anyone beyond ourselves. Except Geraldus. It has been some time since anyone dared wrap my knuckles like you did. No less than I deserve. I have not been overly generous with the truth. I came here to learn of the Chosen, true enough. But I set my Harper searching for someone else, too. Tell me, what do you know of a man named Minsk of Rashomon? Oh my god! Minsk! The name is as familiar as Jahira's own. A hero of the time of troubles, who saved the city more than once. But few know of his fate, I think. I had hoped to keep it that way. Minsk is an old friend. Perhaps my oldest. We fought at one another's backs, times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. There always is. But that is still the fundamental fact of it. Before we ever heard of this absolute, we received word of a gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there, cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Minsk charged in alone. It was chaos. He was overrun, dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us, or leave him and live to fight another day. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes, you get to take it back. So don't be sorry, because I mean to use you, if you're willing. Infection, indoctrination, eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far. But it has not been yours. With your help, Perhaps it need not be Minsk's, either. I'm not asking for promises. Just the chance. Oh, the point is moot without a means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. I'll have a better idea of what that is once we're through the gates. Seems I need to reacquaint myself with this damned city.
always makes my day better. Yes? <sighs> there might be, but... Mm, it's not a path I dread until we must. Let it wait until the city proper. Perhaps I'll have had a better idea by then. You're sure? Later then. We can't rely on the Harpers. Not when Orin has them infested with shapeshifters. We're on our own. Though, I suppose we're used to it by now. All right. What? By the Morden Summons Curlies went on down there. Of course. Of course they bloody did. Oh, clear out then. I'm guessing I have some tidying to do before the steel watch squeals by. I've had enough dealings with Harpers to know I don't want the answers. Go on now. I don't care much for your time. Whether you're getting hammered or getting nailed, we've got the tool for the job. No, he merely offered patronage. The Gondians built. Sorry, chum, can't let you through. 
Worms rocks closed for the day. Ah, yes, the uh, Orphans Fund. You can pay me directly. I'll make sure to pass your gold to the Orphans. I'm sure you will. Gaining access will not be easy. We must either earn an invitation, or find a route where we can pass unnoticed. Finest produce. Don't bother. All the decent places are gone. Damned coronation. Oh, 
curse to put my hands on everything. Sends well. Yeah. What a charmer. Let's get on with it. No one stopped me yet. I need to find a way forward. Give up now. With haste. Prison guard has spotted you. It's either lie or fight. Somehow the guard buys your excuse. You're free to roam Worms Rock Prison. You're being arrested for theft. If you have a defense, make it now. Some guards would appreciate your generosity, but not this one. This one prefers old-fashioned justice. What are you doing? We cannot defeat the brain without that stone. A couple turns should do it. Did Wint be speaking? prepares to attack. Fugitives are to be killed on sight.
you first. <laughs> better than nothing. All right. Time to see what new horrors waiting for us. Can't slow down. Better not be cursed. Lord Gortash has been expecting your arrival. Please hold a moment. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place, confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guests, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Kethrick Thorne. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. It already is. Granted, there are a few formalities to complete, but well, why don't you come and see? Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. She is expecting you. And now Gortash invites Please us to see make him. your way to the audience chamber. Calm down, dear. It won't happen. Hmm. Oh, I can't really glaze that pig. It's a waiting that's hard. If we could just talk to one of the fists, it would be as clear as day that we're not criminals. I spoke to a witness. Have you heard anything about what it's like in the prisons? <laughs> Actually, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Are they going to arrest us? <laughs> Chamber. The rain is resisting its orders. Without all three stones to control it, it will soon start acting on its own will. Don't cause any trouble, all right? Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Raven Guard is a shard. Lord Gortash like is expecting you. Please make your You here? My lady says Absolute's army is on the march. There's watchers. We'll hold the line. You best believe. Cult army on the march, killer on the loose, and Mistress Dorenbold still drags me hither and thither. Lord, Archduke, God? <laughs> I'll call Gortash what he wants, as long as Lord Chatshield pays me for all this waiting around. That should tell you. Sorry, sorry, these dukes are working me to the bone. The sky falls around us. Gods, it must be exhausting to be so cynical. Not as exhausting as all that boot kissing you've been doing. Lord Gortash is expecting. <laughs> Kin's people, Baldurians, and dearest Duke Ravengar. Thank you for joining me on this exceptional day. It's him, Gortash. <sighs> this is it. I can practically taste his blood from here. The tiefling is letting her passions get the better of her. The situation is delicate. Do not be swept up in her emotions.
You're asking a lot. But I can wait. For a while, at least. Let's get Baldur's Gate safe. Then rip his throat out. A moment, please, my friends. An old acquaintance has come to pay her respects. Please, Carlac. Come and say a proper hello. My respects! You're lucky I've agreed not to shove my boot up your... Ah, how I've missed your colourful turns of phrase. We must catch up just as soon as I've had words with your little friend. As for you, I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that netherstone that you carry. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. You among them. That prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well, not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided. If you and I come to an understanding, together we can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gordash always did have an eye for opportunity. It's not. But it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. Once it is free from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three Netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. I'd like to propose a pact. A divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. Hmm. Let's be allies, said the viper to the frog. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. So Kethrick was ready to betray our alliance too. I can't say it comes as a surprise, but you should know this. I initiated this plot. I brought Ketherick and Orin together to create the Absolute. 
They knew this would only work if we stood united and coordinated our powers. Their ambition blinded them to reason. I don't suffer the same affliction. In short, you can trust me. Then let it be writ by the black hand of Bane. I, Lord Enver Gortash, swear I shall do you no harm. We will rise together over Toriel as a roaring sun. This isn't going to end well. Mark my words. I understand your concerns, my old friend. But allow me to demonstrate why you made the right choice. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. A doppelganger in our camp. That sounds all too believable. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. First, or in the red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherine Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. All out of fear of the Absolute. Next, I... We will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their absolute god. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. Powerful connections. Let's leave it at that. Our tyranny, and we are saviors, defenders of the Sword Coast, our loyal subjects will love us, not hate us. What comes next will be entirely their fault. More importantly, just. Now, come, be witness, as I make history as the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Then we proceed. The Patriarchs await. Distinguished Dukes, Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same, by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. He looks the exact same as he did ten years ago. Fancy a coat, I suppose. 
The Archduke of Baldur's Gate. What a sham. You don't really intend to be his ally, do you? Gortash is your enemy, either way. This pact may delay the inevitable betrayal, but not by much. Don't let him suck you in! Oh, he paints a pretty picture, then rips it to shreds right in front of your nose. I'll play along for now, but I'm not letting him slip out of reach. He's going to pay for what he did to me, one way or another. Flaming fist, stand ready. With Gortash at the head.